So you're probably coming here, or maybe you expected today's video to be about Mobius, what decks, the gameplay. I had a video the other day showing some decks I expected, but instead today we're going to cover something that I think might be a little bit more important for the longevity of Marvel Snap. We've talked about this in the past. What we're going to be talking about today is series drops. Where are they? What's happening with them? Should we be mad? Are you mad? Please comment below. I'd love to hear where everyone's at on this topic. We got a little bit of information out there and I want to talk about it. So this is going to be semi soapboxy, preachy, but I want it to be that way because I want to say what I think and I want to hear from you and have you share back what you think below so there can be a dialogue on this. And just for me to get a general opinion on what's going on. The catalyst for this, outside of the fact that we're talking about series drops. So first off, let's catch everybody up. Series drops used to happen. What that meant was that you could get a card that was series five that would drop down to series four. We'll prop one of those up on the screen. Some of the graphics we had in the past, series four would then drop to series three. This was a nice thing that you could do because you could plan according to what you might want to get because it would drop in a regular pattern. Now, they never officially told us what this pattern was. They never said it was a guaranteed pattern or anything like that. So we got to sort of like watch ourselves there. But it was something that the player base generally was using to plan what they were going to do, maybe spend, not spend. Additionally, there was something that was added to the game that was awesome. I loved it. Mystery Series 3 card. Wait, no, I didn't love that. You know what I did love? Is this. Is this? No, don't do this. Don't do that. This though, the choose your card below it. This one's a little bit brighter. So you got to call that one out. Choose your card. Series 3 card claimed comeback next season for another word you could choose one of these once a month you could get one once a month i love this this is a great feature as i was climbing i don't remember the last time i used it i don't by the way don't ever do this waste tokens so we had those series drops happening we would get series three cards that maybe we're just going to claim for free it felt pretty decent it was nice but token acquisition was hard came out with the spotlight system it was you know people hated it people said it was fine with the math etc i looked at math i looked at other people who i trust math and it seemed like at a certain point, the spotlight system was going to actually be better for putting more cards in more players' hands, which was the goal of what the new spotlight system was going to be. Obviously, our concern was agency. If you don't know what that is, basically you being able to pick which cards you want, that's still a problem. I'm not going to contest that ever. That is definitely a problem with the new system. But there was the ability to get more new cards for more people that I don't believe could properly be disputed with actual data backup outside of just someone on the internet saying it sucks. Uh, and honestly, those arguments don't hold any weight or water with me. So with math, it looked like, yeah, you could actually get way more newer cards versus, you know, potentially needing to save a bunch of tokens and then spending in game. So I like that. I thought it was awesome. The variants, the spotlight variants, I thought were a nice touch. They're beautiful, all that thing. So anyway, we get to that point. They stopped doing series drops just before Null and Dark Hawk were supposed to drop. Then we got the three times value thing with the Dark Hawk card, which set everybody off. Everybody was all upset about it. Like, so you're not going to drop it. Then you're going to charge a bunch of money to get it. I, I get the perception there. I'm not going to sit here and try to defend that. I think it was ridiculous. I think it was bad, poor timing. I understand wanting to test those metrics. I just think that was like the way they lined that up was not wise. Uh, you want to be sensitive with your player base, especially in gaming, because people can just turn on a dime and be like, I'm done. And the whole community can be just out. And then you're left like trying to repair that trust and relationship. But gotcha games have been out there forever and they still stick around. Not that this one is like any of those other ones, but maybe in the card collecting community, I think that maybe it is sort of the first time a lot of people have played games like that. Anyway, so we're now at this point where we've been waiting for these series drops. What we had looked at with the math, according to the new spotlight system, was at some point the new system would not be as good as the old system and it would be worse. When looking at the math, I think, and again, this is uh, not for myself. I want to shout out Equinox, Lauren, whatevs. People who actually do Corrales, people who do real good math out there. Better than me, smarter than me. My math is silly spreadsheet math. Theirs is like, they're smart. I'm not. So when you looked at that, I think the number was somewhere between, I don't know, it might have even gotten as high as 49, but it was in the 30s or 40s as far as how many series four or five cards should be available in this new system that it worked better. But then after that particular threshold, it was worse. So when I looked at that and I did all the math of what those numbers were, I saw, all right, series drop should start again sometime in September. Well, it's September 20th. Well, when I'm shooting is September 25th. Post that I've got here, which I'll go over in a second, is uh, on September 24th. So that was yesterday. Point is, is that we've got like a week left in September and we haven't heard anything about series drops. So I posted something before that was talking about it a few weeks ago. I was like, hello, anybody paying attention to this? What's going on? So let's look at this post. This is on the official Marvel Snap Discord. 
I'm going to squeeze this down so we can look at it a little bit tighter. All right, so Gyanide po Poet, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name there. It's been months now with no series drops of any sorts or no word if any will ever come again. So it seems like drops aren't quote, flexible, but rather rarely any. This combined with the announcement that Spotlight Presence is tied to variant ability, availability, and the fact that more relevant cards haven't had spotlights in the in a while, if at all, makes me concerned for the future of card acquisition. And that's a really good point. My questions are, can we expect any series drops at all this year? And is there a chance that spotlights can become less dependent on variant availability? That cards that haven't shown up on spotlights yet will show up soon. All fantastic questions. The fact that we haven't gotten some of those cards is honestly kind of silly in my mind. I don't know why they're doing it. I'm going to give this a plus. Absolutely. Let's put it in there. Steven, this is a hotly debated topic internally at Second Dinner and has been for a while. We'll address that sentence in a second. Once we align on the right path forward, we will share it with everyone. I know you guys want an answer to this right now, but we aren't ready to share those next steps yet. So I'm going to go in reverse order. This last sentence in a silo by itself, I have zero problem with gaming companies having stuff like this. It takes a while. People need to figure their stuff out. They don't want to share. No problem with that. This next sentence, once we align on the right path forward, we will share with everyone. I love this. I love this transparency. I think it's great. You're telling us what you're doing. When you're ready, you'll share. Okay. Now, even this topic by itself is fine. This sentence, the problem becomes when you add all of these combined with this specific topic and how it came about. This topic was a new planned system for card acquisition. Planned system, more cards, more players. It was a planned system, allegedly, presumably whatever you want to call it. So um, I'm going to call out my friends at Second Dinner. Not that I'm friends with anyone there, but I like to be friends with everybody best I can, unless you're a jerk and then you can go to hell. If you have a plan or something that you're implementing, something you're thinking about doing, a, a marketing statement that you're going to make about more cards for more players, whatever, I would think that you would have a set plan for the steps that are coming. I'm doing step A, I'm doing step B, I'm doing step C, I'm doing step D, whatever. You know that path forward. Now, certainly times or certain steps can be adjusted in certain ways. You might have to delete something. You might have to insert something in your said plan. I worked in construction for years. Construction managed specifically. Things changed on the hourly, the daily. You needed to be able to pivot and change. So I understand and you need the understanding for when those type of things happen. So I am sensitive to that. However, if I was implementing something to a client, uh, to a subcontractor, to a boss, uh, and saying, this is what we're going to do. This is my presentation for the future of this. It is going to do X, Y, and Z. I promise you that whatever that thing that I just said, I had thought behind it. I had all of these things that I was going to do that was going to make whatever I just said happen or think about. Now, I might go back to him and say, hey, I was planning on doing this October, but because of X, Y, and Z reason, it's got to be in November or something or you know hey i was planning on doing three of these but because these other things came up i can only do two of these that type of thing i get those are the things that where i would look at a sentence like hotly debated topic i'm hoping those are the type of things that are hotly debated when how many not whether or not because that type of thing can be a problem and the hotly debated part of this really worried me because it's like well, what's there to debate like this is a thing that's happening, right? Like we need to do this, right? Maybe which cards to drop, sure. Like I get that. But if it's just which cards to drop, but you don't know if you're gonna do it this month or next month, just say that. Say, we're figuring out how many cards we wanna drop. We don't know if we're gonna start this month or next month, but we're definitely gonna start by before November. Cool. This shows me some competency that the original plan that you have is either just slightly off kilter a little bit, or you need to make some adjustments. And that's not a big deal. That's why I get each one of these sentences in a silo by itself, I got no problem with it. It's when we've got these other things all combined and us left to interpret these to go, wait a minute, are they, do, do they not know if they're gonna do these drops? Because the next thing we're gonna look at here, and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time with this, is you go look at what the community says. And I know this is not, look, Reddit, yes, I understand that can be just a cesspool of negativity. That's where they all go. But if you come and look at some of the community and posts here, you know, this person talking about not able to claim a free card in months. There are no series drops ever since they announced spotlight caches with the reason being that they need a bigger pool for it. Yeah, I get that. They did promise that it would be a temporary and that the series drops would turn, but we did not get any update in that front since. That's sort of the problem with your plan. So I'm hoping that this is still the case and I'm inclined to believe that 
but that post that we just looked at is giving the impression that that's not the case that they're not even sure what they're gonna do which to me is like no that's bad that's bad don't say that like who's checking how they respond this like respond to this a little better say that hey we're figuring out some final details it's gonna happen we just don't know how many cards and exactly when we want to start it but we're gonna definitely start it ideally it's a we're definitely gonna start it by the end of before the end of october etc i mean then you get jokes like this when the second and this you never want this stuff when second dinner announced their flexible series drops they actually meant non-existent series drops there's talk about just the greed and how people have cut on on this game and what its end goal is is beyond me the crazy thing is howard still hasn't been in a single spot like cash and won't be in one either and honestly like i don't uh, i don't even, i don't want howard so i don't even care but iron lad like that i want iron lad i mean again i think he he was in one because i got him from that no three i think iron lad's been in one howard yeah i don't really care we didn't have a series drop since the scam flexible series drops in may i mean again people calling it a scam you don't want the classic bait and switch with these games make everything easy at the beginning and hand out new cards and gold and everything players wants then slowly morph the economy to influence people spending more actual money that's the uh, potential gotcha mechanic which those things are out there i'm hoping that's again not the case with second dinner I mean, how much of those commercials you've seen with Ben out there, Ben Brode specifically saying, wouldn't it be nice to come to a game and not have to spend a bunch of money to learn to play? Could you spend money and increase your progress? Yes, but you need to still play to progress and get boosters, etc. cetera. I, I like that. That was part of the reason why I came to Marvel Snap because I originally didn't play it. I found a way that I, I was like, oh, I do like card games. This is cool. I've always liked poker, et cetera, but I've never played actual competitive card games. I then found out from my friend, Mobile Gamer, he's like, it's actually a really relatively cheap game to play. It's not bad compared to what we were used to. We played Marvel Strike Force together, which is insanely expensive. So it's just kind of like, oh, this guy's there, not a thing anymore. If you hear otherwise, it's copium. If anyone says, ask them, when was the last time that it was going to drop? Anyway, you get the idea. I'm not going to go through all these. I don't want to rant forever. So I just get worried when I see this. I really hope Second Dinner finds a way. Look, I'm excited for Mobius. I'm absolutely going to do a gameplay Mobius video. Obviously not today, but uh, mainly because I was one my videos never do well on that because a million people have mobius videos come like and subscribe help support the channel appreciate you i love your face but i also want to do stuff like this where it's like pay attention because this stuff matters and again i like second dinner i'm always going to say what i want about games whether what i think or what like i'm not going to shill for a company period i said that i think this new system's better i still believe that to a certain extent if they don't change that and they make it so that it's just going to stay like this i'll call the system trash yeah i called it good before to a point and i tried to always caveat that if they don't fix this, it's going to be trash. It's not going to feel good. It's going to feel bad. I think it's going to lose player base. Please fix that stuff. I don't want to go through it. I hope that the player base doesn't have to go through it. I don't think Second Dinner wants to go through it. I firmly believe they care about their game. They want their game to go do well. They also have to make money. They're in a situation where they've got to balance it. Frankly, that's not our problem as, as game, game players, etc. Figure your stuff out. I'm here to play a game. If you don't make it so I don't want to play it, I won't play it. Period. That's your choice as a player, right? And it's up to Second Dinner to keep us around. So I think my soapbox is done. I want to hear from you again in the comments below. Sorry about the ranty video where it's just kind of going off on a tangent, all that sort of thing. But I really wanted to do something with this because I just felt like it was an important topic that we needed to cover. So that's all I got. Appreciate you for making this far. If you want to further support the channel, consider hammering down that like button. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.